Here's the field now, race number eight, eighth race, fillies and mares, condition claimers, racing one mile, purse $2,800. The one is Pamphlet and Hanover. By Conway of Abington, Virginia, Roger Kelleper as the trainer driver. The two Linda Linnell. Oh, by Charles Blank and Chip of Asheville, Leonard Amplin trains, Eric Lenford drives. Number three, uh, dreams do come true. Owned, trained, and driven by Don Collins of Pompano Beach, Florida. The four is extremely volatile. Owned, and trained, and driven by Mark Evers of Lebanon. Five, Noble Prize. Owned, and trained by Bill Miller of Trenton, Ohio. Brad Hanner is getting the call. The six, Caramba Hanover. Owned by Ruth Altmeyer of Washington, Pennsylvania. And David Wills of Newark. Dave Rankin, the trainer driver. Seven, likewise, I'm sure, leased by Rebecca Green. Gary Green trains, Chip Noble drives. The eight, Midnight Fame, owned by Stan Ballon of Xenia, Travis Redden trains, Dave Miller in the bike. The nine, Anne's Magic Log, owned by Ann in Virgil Parks of Arango. Ron Stack is the trainer driver. When play show perfected, try factor wagering eight minutes until post time, eight minutes. Eighth race, Phillies and Mares are running behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off from the inside. Linda Linnell and dreams do come true. Away together for the lead. From the far outside comes Midnight Fame. And Miller is on the move with Midnight Fame. They're three wide as they fire to the first turn. From the inside of fourth, it's extremely volatile. Looking to dunk in five Nobel Prize. At the middle and sixth, Karamba Hanover. Two likes in seventh, pamphlet Hanover to the inside eighth. Likewise, I'm sure the trailer, ninth hands, magical log. They're at the first quarter mile marker, 27 and four. And on the front, it's Midnight Fame, a 14 to one shot. But to the outside, dreams do come true. Dreams do come true. Back in charge here. She takes a lead, a length and a half over Midnight Fame. Then another three lengths in the third to Linda Lonell. Fourth, extremely volatile. Moving first up comes Noble Prize and grabbing the cover, Caramba Hanover. Pamphlet Hanover is buried on the inside, racing in seventh. Fans Magic Log is underway in eighth. Shuffle back the trailer now. Likewise, I'm sure the half 57 and one to the back stretch. Dreams do come true. Leads here a length, length and a half. But moving briskly on the outside, here comes Noble Prize, and Noble Prize is on the move. Was fourth, now third, now second, and now takes a lead. Noble Prize right on by for the lead. On the inside, racing into second, dreams do come true. Karamba Hanover has lost her live cover. She's now first up in third. At the rail and fourth, Midnight Fame hands Magic along with cover in fifth. They're at the three quarters, 126 and four. Around the final turn and on the front, it's Noble Prize with a lead, a length and a half. But Caramba Hanover looming on the outside is stalking the leader in second. Lost Saturday, third of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come. Noble Prize with a lead, but on the outside, here comes Caramba Hanover, and dreams do come true. Back on the inside, dreams do come true. What a big effort here. Dreams do come true. Second with Noble Prize, and Caramba Hanover settles for third. Eighth race official. Ladies and gentlemen, track side in the winner's circle. Winner of the eighth, number three, dreams do come true. Five-year-old daughter of Pit Boy. Own train, nicely handled tonight by Don Collins of Pompano Beach, Florida. Fifth win of the season for the five-year-old pacing mare coming in from Hoosier Park, Indiana. Pacing tonight's mile 156 and a two. Dreams do come true, paying $10.60 to win. The 3-5 Perfecta, $53 even, $53. 356 trifecta, $348.60. 34860. The complete order finish from the top pamphlet.